Hey, what's up guys? My name is Wadolf and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make bullet shells come out of a handgun. So for this tutorial, we're gonna need to download some some textures I did. Pretty much we're gonna be using the particle simulator and we're gonna be using these bullet shell textures to kind of simulate the effect we're going after. So you can just go to my preset and textures page on my website rodipolis.com and you can download the texture pack that I'll be using for this. And as you can see I have ads on my website now so if you're ever on there and you see something you want to click feel free to click it because that, that'd be awesome. So so anyways let's go back to hit film and download this. So I'm kind of gonna assume that you guys know how to download textures but if you don't just watch my how to download preset video it's pretty much the same process. So we're in hit film and let's go to get a new composite shot, get the particle simulator. Alright now let's get started. So let's go to controls and we're gonna import we're gonna import our bullet textures. So I'm in the texture folder, that's where I put them. And you're gonna see like handgun one, handgun two, and that's pretty much all of the handgun ones, and they have like different angles. So I'm just gonna pick all of them to for more variation. So let's open this. So when we open this, you're just gonna see it like this. As you can see, it does look metallic, even if for a bullet shell it it goes by so fast you might not even notice it but just so you can get an idea of how they are so first thing we're gonna do is instead of birth color let's choose texture color because that's the color of the textures and as you can see I mean the colors are a little golden but a little green so it's easy to just fix that later on with a great filter just change the hue shift of the bullets so so yeah, that's pretty much how you would import it in the footage. You know, I'm gonna show you how some basic tips to do like the animation for a handgun bullet. So let's go to general and when it comes to particles per second, let's put that at three. Now we're probably gonna need it to be lower than that, but for the example I'm gonna be showing. And let's go to movement and let's put the live at five. And as you can see, once I start playing, it just starts going around, which is not what we want. And that's because it's in random right now. So let's just go to choose cone instead. So as you can see, once I press, once I start playing it, it starts just flying on the side. And if I go, if I change the view, if I'm on the top view, you can see how it's going. So right here, it's the trail of it is a little wide. So let me just go to the radius of the cone and do this just make it a little bit smaller so that's how it would be coming out and if I play it yeah it's going really slow I mean there is no way a bullet shell is gonna be that slow so for the speed let's just do 2000 you might need to do more than 2000 but for this example I'm gonna do 2000 so you can see how they're just flying out like this. Let me go to background color so you guys can see it better. So they're just flying out. And I'm sorry I don't have like a actual footage of someone shooting a gun. So I should have some of that soon. So when I do I'll make I'll make a I guess a second part of this tutorial to just kind of show you guys how you would implement it into actual footage because I know a lot of people want to know how to do that. So let me just go to the scale and scale it down a little bit. And you can see it's going out like this. Now let's do the motion motion of the bullet. Pretty much if this is where the bullets come out, usually you see like the bullet shell would fly out and then go down. So that's what we're gonna try to do here. Let me decrease the speed for a second. So if I go to the cone, I can rotate the Z and have them coming out up. And then I can go back to movement and I can go to acceleration 
and then move this down, move the y-axis down. As you remember, the acceleration is like a force that's applying to it. So pretty much, as you can see here, they would go up and then go down again. So, like this, go up and then go down again. So as you can see, like for this right here, it could work for a machine gun. Like if you have like machine gun textures, I will be putting out some machine gun textures too. But for this one, it's just for the handgun. So we won't need like all these bullet shells just coming out. So let's go back to general and particles per second. Let's just put one particle per second. And let's put the speed back to 2000. And then yeah, it just play because the speed is so high, it's just flying out. But doesn't really matter. You guys get the basic idea of it. Minus two thousand. And of course the bullet shells would be spinning. That's what really sells the effect. So let's just go to a appearance and in the texture angle let's put let's put four and then play it out as you can see it's just spinning around and I mean when you're actually blending it in the actual footage you can make it smaller or bigger or whatever to just match your footage better so I'm just making it kind of that size so you guys can see it clearly so it's spinning around like this and texture angle Let's go to appearance variation. Variation is always good to have some diversity to the effect. So yeah, it was just flying it out and then you would have like your gun right here and the actor would be shooting it and things. And the, of course, the biggest thing not to forget is motion blur. Because motion blur, that's what really does sell the effect of the motion right there that they're actually coming out and just spinning, spinning right out. And of course, like I said, I put the speed at 2000, but you probably would want to put it at more because bullet shells, they're good to be there, but don't draw too much attention to themselves because then that ruins the effect. And of course, if you want to add more motion blur, just go to advanced and you can mess around with this. Like if I put this at like 500 and this at 200, as you can see, the motion blur is a lot more intense. So if you ever want to just mess around with motion blur, that's where you do it in the properties panel. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the textures and that you have some great fun with them. Since I don't have any actual footage of using them yet, if you guys make some cool tests, just add them as a response to this video so then everyone just can see how, how people are using the technique or doing. And like I said, once I get some actual good footage that I can put these in, I'll make like a second part of the tutorial to just show you guys some basic tips of, of how to add bullets to live action footage. So, so yeah, hope you like this tutorial and remember I put out tutorials very often. I try to put them as much as I can. So subscribe to my channel if you want some cool stuff and check back to roidypolice.com every now and then and you know check back to see what I have new like my presets, my tutorials and some project files. And of course, like I said, hey, if you see an ad there that you like, click on it and find out more info on it. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.